Hello class, imagine yourself standing amidst a beautiful garden with luscious flowers of all colors, shapes, and sizes. Now imagine it was in your own yard. Is it putting a smile on your face? I bet you are wondering, how do I get this to become a reality? Well, here at Great Grow, we'll be going over 10 of the easiest flowers to grow for beginners so that you can start getting the garden of your dreams. Without further ado, let's hop right into the video. In our first spot, we have zinnias. Zinnias are a herbaceous plant that belongs to the aster family. There are over 20 species and more than 100 cultivators of zinnia that differ in size, color, and growing habits. Zinnias are native to Mexico, South America, and southwestern parts of the USA. It thrives in areas with a hot climate, usually in scrublands and dry grasslands. Zinnias grow in fertile, well-drained soil that are exposed to direct sunlight. Thanks to their low maintenance and beautiful flowers, zinnias are one of the most commonly cultivated ornamental plants in the world, making it a perfect choice for a beginner. In our second spot, we have the bachelor's button. Their flowers are small, averaging 2 to 5 centimeters in diameter, and have a spreading, upright appearance. Bachelor button flowers of various species can be easily found all over the world. They are not that hard to get, and thus not so expensive. Moreover, they can also be homegrown quite easily. They are considered tough flowers that are compatible with most soil types. The ideal time for them to bloom is in the summer through early fall. All this contributes to it being one of the easiest flowers to grow for beginners. Shining its way into number three, we have the sunflower. The sunflower is one of the most interesting and unique flowers on earth, one that has delighted and inspired humans for a millennia. A cousin of the daisy, the sunflower is a member of the aster and composite plant family. They are considered to be one of the easiest flowers for beginners, and one that will definitely stand out in your garden. With a stem that often reaches heights of 10 feet tall, depending on the variety, this would make an excellent choice to add in a beginner's garden. Shooting into our list at number 4, we have Cosmos. Cosmos are a herbaceous annual plant that will grow between 1 to 7 feet tall, depending on the species. Cosmos are a member of the aster family and happen to be October's birth flower. Often found in wildflower mixes, they are an amazing flower that is great at attracting pollinators. The name Cosmos is said to have been given to the flowers by Spanish priests because of their even petals. They are quite easy to grow and don't need as much care as some other particular species of plants. This makes an excellent choice for beginners. Coming into our fifth spot, we have marigolds. Marigolds come from the aster family and are native to Mexico and southwestern parts of the USA. Depending on the type of bloom, marigolds can grow between 6 to 48 inches in height and 6 to 36 inches wide. They feature attractive yellow, orange, red, and many other colored blooms, depending on the variety. These are considered low maintenance plants that thrive in full sun and will provide abundant blooms up until the first frost of the season. In our sixth spot, we have gladiolas, a member of the Iridicea family. Gladiolas also go by the name flag flower and sword lily. The flowers attract pollinating insects, which in turn help your garden out by increasing the blooms you will receive. Fast growing gladiolus plants are a smart choice for gardens where space is a premium. They can grow to two to five feet tall, adding some much needed pizzazz to your garden. Climbing its way into our seventh spot, we have morning glories. Morning glories are native to Mexico and Central America. The brightly colored trumpet shaped flowers of the common morning glory have a slight fragrance and are popular with butterflies and hummingbirds. The buds are twirled up tightly and unfold when the sun hits them in the morning, giving them their unique name. The common morning glory is a favorite of gardeners everywhere for good reason. The eye-catching vines are very low maintenance. They can be easily started from seed in early spring, and you don't need to prune or deadhead them as they grow. Next up on our list, coming into number 8, we have red poppy. Red poppy is an annual wildflower characterized by striking red blooms. The seeds of the red poppy can lie dormant for up to 80 years. This led to it being coined as a symbol of remembrance after World War I when flushes of poppies grew in churned up battlefields. 
These poppies require almost no maintenance when they are planted in their hardiness zones, and they are great for naturalizing. They also work well in garden beds, cottage gardens, borders, and pollinator gardens. An excellent choice for a beginner gardener. A breath of fresh air is what our number nine spot is, the baby's breath flower. Baby's breath plants have become somewhat of a cliche in floral arrangements, but they can also look lovely in the garden. Their small, narrow leaves are gray-green to blue-green in color. In the summer, baby's breath plants are covered in tiny, five-petaled white or pink flowers that last several weeks. Baby's breath plants generally require very little maintenance. Plant them in a spot that gets a lot of light and has good soil drainage, and they'll practically take care of themselves. Nothing better than this for a beginner gardener. Last but not least, in our number 10 spot, we have the African daisy. African daisies look a lot like common daisies with petals radiating around a center disc. They are members of the aster family. Their vivid coloring is not at all like the classic daisy. In fact, when African daisies were first introduced to the market, some people thought they must have been dyed. The center disc of the flower even can look like they're colored with metallic paint. Petals may be smooth and flat like a typical daisy or radiate out in a tubular spoon shape. These flowers are fairly low maintenance when grown in an environment they like. Make sure they have lots of sun and soil with good drainage and you're set to have some amazing blooms. A great choice for any gardener. So there you have it. This has been a list of what I think 10 of the easiest flowers to grow for beginners are. If you have a flower you think is good for a beginner, please feel free to comment it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If we get this to 15 likes, I will do a video on 10 more flowers for intermediate gardeners to grow. This has been Great Grow, and thanks for watching.